What animal has extendable arms that it uses to fish for its prey? Here's a clue. It has no teeth, it has 24 eyes, and lives for only six months. It has its stomach in its head. It has one mouth, but four bums, and is 96% water. Meet the Urukanji jellyfish. It's a small, square-shaped jellyfish, about the size of a sugar cube, with four long, extendable tentacles. It's found right throughout the tropical waters of the world, wherever you find coral reef. So why are we out here at night? Well, basically we're trying to catch these little guys, and they're attracted to the light. During the daylight hours, they're very difficult to see, but at night, with lights in the water, they swim towards the light, and you can just hook them out of the water with a pool skirt. This is the only jellyfish we know of that actively fishes for its prey. Now it feeds on small fish and it does this by relaxing its tentacles and it ends up looking like a string of pearls. And each of those little pearls has these stinging organelles or nematocysts packed tightly into a little tiny cluster. What it then does is relax the tentacles and jerks it through the water. And it's much like jigging for fish or jigging for squid. The little fish see the pearl move through the water, swims over, nails the pearl and in itself gets nailed with this vicious venom. Once the jellyfish has caught its prey, it contracts its tentacles, pushes the fish into its mouth, which is in the head of the animal, and pre-digests it. What gets really interesting then is that pre-digested soup pushes down to the internals of the tentacle. So in other words, this animal has four stomachs. What it then does is absorbs all the nutrients up through the internals of the tentacle and now the tricky bit, it poos out the end of its tentacle. So this animal has one mouth, but four bums. I've been researching these little guys for over 20 years, and I've been stung 11 times. And every single time, I've ended up in hospital. It's a surreal pain. Zero's no pain, 10's the worst you can imagine. My last trip, I had an 11 or 12. I cannot begin to explain how excruciating it is but it's something you really don't want to experience. Although those experiences were excruciating, there's some positives to them. We're pretty certain we can take components of the venom from this little jellyfish and use them to help control low blood pressure in some people. And that's one of the reasons why I continue to work on these fascinating little creatures. Some people think this is the most venomous jellyfish, but that's actually its cousin. More about that another time. That's just the nature of science.